again in the shower today i will be washing my hair i had deep conditioner in my hair for two days and i am so ready to wash this out because my scalp needs it so i'm just taking my hair out of these bantu knots this just helped to keep my hair stretched out and i will start with a scalp massage as always and i'm also loosening up the dirt that was left on my scalp It feels so good letting that water run through your hair after massaging your scalp. So today I am using the Cantu Shea Butter Shampoo and Conditioner. This is my first time using it. I wasn't a big fan of the shampoo, but I did like the conditioner. The shampoo was pretty drying to my hair and I had to use a lot of the conditioner to replenish my hair, but the conditioner felt pretty good. Wasn't a big fan of the shampoo though. So I'm going to put a second handful of shampoo in my hair. This is now to just clean my hair. The first handful was just to get it all over my hair, but it's like my hair just kind of drank that up. <laughs> so I needed just a little bit more to actually clean my hair off. And I'm going to suck in on motion, you know, just Really working that dirt, working my scalp to remove that buildup. And because I have long nails, I am being very gentle around my edges and I'm being gentle on my scalp. And then I'm going to rinse that out, but I do not repeat this process. I don't rinse and repeat. I just shampoo once and I am done. But you guys leave in the comment section, what shampoos and conditioners do you guys use? Because I'm looking for something new. I ran out of my Aussie Moist and I've been using that for a long time, like two years at least. So please leave down in the comment section, what do you guys use? What do you guys recommend? And now I'm just taking that conditioner and I'm putting it all through my hair. I start on my edges first and then I work it through the rest of my hair. And now I have to finish showering off so I'll see you guys later. I just go ahead and retwist my hair before I rinse that conditioner out. The roots of my hair got pretty poofy from me shampooing it so I needed to retwist my hair to prevent my hair from tangling up. And then I go ahead and rinse under the shower. So I take a light oil, I take avocado oil because it is a light oil and I use that on the scalp of my hair. I'm not going to really use that on the length of my hair because I don't want to use oil just yet to seal in the moisture. I just realized recently that my hair is able to retain more moisture when I don't use oil to seal it. I'll come out with a video about that. My hair is soft at this point, so now I'm just unraveling the twist to create my afro and I'm using my Camille Rose Moisturizing Cream, y'all. This smells like cake batter. It smells delicious. And now I'm just going to apply this all over my hair and I really work this in because I have low porosity hair and this is like a really buttery cream. So I put it on the length of my hair and then I apply it only to the ends so that my ends will slip off each other and won't become tangled with each other. I just learned this trick by accident, but it really left my ends feeling super soft and super moisturized. I usually have a hard time being able to wear afros, but because I did this and I used 
a great amount of product. My hair didn't tangle at the ends. So I really appreciate that. And then I just go ahead and find the shape that I'm looking for. Here is today's cousin of the day. If you guys would like to be featured in my videos, you have to one, be a subscriber and you have to, of course, comment. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this Black History series so far. If you guys are new here, welcome. And thank you guys to the ones that's already part of the family for coming back. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.